Hi, this is Michael Mann from Bike Social, and we're reporting from, well, from a hotel foyer just outside Almeria in Spain. And we're here at the press riding launch of these bikes. It's the Tiger 1200, new for 2018. There's four road versions and two more off-road bias versions. Quite easy to distinguish, despite all the letters, the XR range for the road. They're the ones with the cast wheels. The XC, there's two of them, and they're the ones with the wire spoke wheels. They've got some protection around the uh, exhausts, they've got some off-road foot pegs, um, and they're the more off-road bias bikes. Now, for 2018, the bikes have got a whole host of updates. Primarily, it's still using the 1215cc uh, three-cylinder uh, shaft-driven um, engine, which uh, kicks out two horsepower more than it used to, so we're up to about 139. The bikes are available in January. Um, from about the middle of January in dealerships and prices start at £12,200 for the base spec XR model and the, on the XR side the highest spec there is XRT and that's 16,195 versus 16,950 um, for the XCA. That's the top spec and that's got a whole host of good stuff on it. So it's the engine updates that have made it faster, made it lighter, but it's the electronic updates that have made it much more technically advanced, much more rider friendly. So on this, the XCA, you get six rider modes. That includes the new off-road pro mode, five rider modes on the more road-focused bikes. Um, you also get things like the new TFT display, which, which uh, you can change the theme, you can change the color, the contrast, and you can scroll through using the new five-way joystick, which is on the left-hand side of the handlebars. It's so user-friendly. Now, we've covered about 200 miles on the roads today, uh, and probably another 20 off-road as well. Just getting used to the handling of the bike. Um, I, used, I didn't use the off-road pro, I just used the off-road mode and it made me look good off-road. I'm not an off-road rider, I'm not brilliant, but what it did do is it gave me a lot of confidence. It's like a security blanket wrapping around you. So you crack the throttle on, it just calmly look, lead you into a nice little slide on the gravel off-road sections. On the road, the bike is so stable, it's lovely. Despite its weight, it handles beautifully. And that triple engine, well, it's nice and powerful, it's got a great mid-range, loads of sort of linear torque curve. So, it's, so the, the power comes in so gradually and so smoothly. And there's no kind of play with the throttle. It's again, it's just a really a good smooth delivery. There's a lot of money for a big, big bike, but you get so much technology packed into it. First impressions are really great. They've tried to really, really move the model on. Yeah, they got rid of the Explorer name, but the Tiger 1200 lives on and lives on really well. You can read my full review at bikesocial.co.uk.